Whenever you go to the thrift store, you want to keep your eyes out for the different prints. I have found so many great prints, and this winter print was one that I found and was so excited about. I think I spent like 50 cents on it. Now, the frame of it is just a little beaten up, and so I wanted to update the frame so it would look nice with my holiday decor. I'm just gonna tape off the glass portion and then I'm gonna paint it with two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. I'm gonna do a wet distressing technique on it where I'm just pulling off paint with a wet paper towel. I mean, for 50 cents, it totally updated this picture. So I found this sheet music at my local thrift store and I'm going to use it to create a garland that's going to be perfect for the holidays. I created a banner template out of one of the sheets of music and I'm just going to replicate that by tracing it onto the other music notes. Next, I'm gonna pull off a long piece of twine and cut it off at the end. I prefer to make it longer versus shorter, so I always make it a little bit too long. I'm gonna find the center portion of my twine, fold the paper over, and hot glue it in the center. I'll continue by adding additional sheets of music. And here's a look at how this simple banner turned out. I was so excited when I found this log holder at my local thrift store. I thought this is perfect. I was so excited about it. It just looked very winter and Christmassy and I knew I had to pick it up. Now it was a little beat up, so I did come in and clean it the best that I could. I added some white paint and then pulled off any excess so there wasn't too much on. I styled it with some logs that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Next up, I'm going to do a little DIY with these spindles. I found these at a garage sale and just thought they were so cool, so cute, and I couldn't pass them up. I didn't know what I was gonna do with them at the time, but I knew I could figure out something. What I ended up doing was actually cutting them in half. I came in with some white paint on the edges just to really bring out the detail. You can see that I'm wiping the paint off because I don't want the paint to be too overpowering in any way. Next, I'm going to kind of treat these like they're a set of logs. So I'm going to line them up together and then I'm gonna wrap them with some twine. Once I have the twine in place, I'll cover that up with some ribbon. And I'm gonna add in some greenery just to make it look a little bit more festive. And then I'll also add in a bow. And here's a look at how it turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY.